All right, third take, <laughs> third time's a charm, huh? Um, yeah, welcome back to another haul. This is a mixed haul of novels and manga. The majority of the haul is one series that I picked up kind of as a treat to my, for myself and also just for the purpose of adding a, I guess, classic uh, to some people, to the collection. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, this is gonna be a big haul, but it could have been bigger because a lot of stuff has been delayed and it's basically waiting for me to tell the the shop to ship it to me but I'm waiting for some other stuff to get in stock so it'll be worth my time however let's uh, let's just jump into it it's gonna be a mix of manga and novels so I'm gonna start off with the novels uh, this time around gonna try something different gonna put the novels first to I don't know maybe uh, interest some of the you uncultured manga fans <laughs> into trying some western um some western fantasy and uh end of the day i'm just kidding but um you know it never hurts to to spread the word of other form, forms of um of media and storytelling that could interest some people out there um it's definitely an entire like it's a whole new world of of stories and and universes to be explored that a lot of people would really enjoy if they sat down and and you know spend the time del delving into these um like vast stories but uh yeah i have six novels this time around so not too many but you know i picked up a few when i went to the comic store and i i didn't really find anything that i needed that i hadn't already pre-ordered already owned so yeah let's just uh jump into the first one which is a complete and utter cover by I have no idea what this is about but the cover was just so badass I am completely uh, I, I get to completely soft spot for the rogue looking characters with like the hoods and bandoliers and chains and so on so the vagrant looks like it's gonna be right up my alley but I have absolutely no idea if I will actually enjoy this but I am willing to give it a try just based off the cover. And then some something of a change of pace, a sci-fi novel, which I haven't been picking up a ton of lately, but I heard this is a really, really, really good one to get back into sci-fi. Uh, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, and I've heard it compared to Hunger Games, Maze Runner, Ender's Game, some like these very enticing borderline YA series that you know are easy reads but have some decent story with some thrilling uh, story arcs and so on so I, I'm gonna be looking forward to getting into this um, I'm not sure when but you know I've been taking my consumption of, of um, media more leisurely than than I used to and I've actually been reading quite a lot and consuming quite a lot especially since I've been listening to audiobooks at work which really helps with chewing through novels um, and some people don't consider it reading and sure it's not physically sitting down with a book and reading but you're consuming the story and end of the day that's the most important part to me I mean who cares if you you're using an audiobook or if you're sitting down and spending time reading it or yeah as long as you you are getting to know the story and you're enjoying it and and you're really like you can deep dive into an audiobook just as much as you can with a physical book and I like to switch between the two depending on you know how busy I am and some books I know I, I won't be getting around to unless I get you know the audiobook, audiobook um, going and it's just a really good way to get to burn through books really fast honestly um and it makes work go by really fast uh next up is uh, the first two uh books in a th trilogy i think by ve schwab um so a dog or shade of magic and a gathering of shadows these were title buys i've been seeing this around some people that i I really respect their opinions, have these on their shelves, and they just seem like interesting books. I have absolutely no idea. I haven't even read the blurbs on the back or anything, but the the titles alone 
are really really ca- uh, like catching my attention. However, <laughs> this was also the case with a Declaration of Rights of Magicians, but that one has been kicking my ass. I I read the first ten percent of the book and I just haven't been able to get myself to sit down and read it, but. That's also just because the life is stressful, you know, and sometimes you just got to put a book aside and pick up something else because you're just not in the right mindset. But I'm definitely not getting rid of the book and not finishing it, but I am going to be working on it at a different time, I think. I, I did buy the audiobook, so maybe I'll try and do some immersive reading with the audiobook just to kind of get myself back into the groove of it, but you know, who knows? Then next up was a freebie I got, uh, Stephen King, The Outsider. Um, I have no idea what this is about. Uh, my bo- brother bought this on one of his trips and just kind of picked it up because he had some time to kill in the airport. So he gave it to me because he's not going to read it. And I kind of want to get, I really want to get into Stephen King's um, multiverse and that essentially means buying all his books and um, I think this is one of the newer ones I'm not sure honestly anymore uh, well it's a new edition at least I'm not sure when it came out but I got uh, a couple more uh, Stephen King books on the way um, that I'm excited to get into I, I read Pet Cemetery and I really enjoyed it, it I, I enjoyed the last, like, third of it, at least, like, really well. The, th- the first two-thirds of it was kind of slow, in my opinion, but... Um, oh, wait, I did also read the, t- the first Doc Tower book and really enjoy that, and I'm gonna... I'm looking forward to picking up the box set of that whenever <laughs> it's on sale, because that box is, is expensive. And last but not least... Um, Red Seas on the Red Skies, which is the second book in Gentleman Bastards, um, by Scott Lynch. I I bought this. I was gonna buy this the third book because too, but I needed to make sure that this would match the the book I bought in the U.S. But luckily, the comic store I buy uh, manga from when I'm in person also carry a lot of books in their American um, releases. Which means that they had the the odd like the travel sized paperbacks, so at least I I I got away with buying buying this one and they're pretty cheap, and I didn't have to rebuy a uh, Lies of Loch Lamora in a larger size, because that's usually what I do when I accidentally buy a weird American trim size that's not really available out here where we usually just get the UK editions. Anyways, those were all the novels. Uh, next up, let's go through. Uh, let's go through all the the pre-orders I had, and then we'll do the the two new series that I've picked up. Oh yeah. So first off, uh, Black Clover Volume Thirty Two. Y'all know what Black Clover is. It's a fantastic battle shonen. Blue box. I haven't checked this out yet. It's on the TBR shelf. Now I have three volumes, so you know the three volume rule. But um, for me, that often turns out to the twenty volume rule since I just keep buying stuff. Ghost Reaper Girl. I did check out volume one of this. I did enjoy it, but it wasn't the strongest series I've ever read. So we'll see where it goes. I haven't read any more. I have volume two and three over on the TBR shelves, but yeah. A uh, new series, and uh, Ayashiman. This is only going to be three volumes. Um, picking this up to support the the mangaka. The mangaka is also the one behind the Hell's Paradise, and um, this, along with with the uh, Hunter's Guild Red Hood, was my, were my picks for the next like big series. But the Japanese uh, audience just wasn't fucking with them, and um, they got axed after three volumes, which is a shame. Uh, I really enjoyed this, and I also really enjoyed uh, uh, Red Hood. But um, it is how it is, and those two series were basically the the straw that broke the camel's back with me and reading weekly Shonen Jump. I'm not going to be actively trying to to seek out new Shonen Jump series that haven't made it past 20 chapters yet, just because... 
it it sucks when you really get invested into characters and then they they get axed because the twelve year old Japanese boys just don't fuck with them. Uh, they rather read some Roboco, but uh, that's not for me. Next up, Chain Soldier Volume Three. Um, it's wrapped, so I'm sure it's going to be good. I haven't checked it out yet, but uh, you know, three volume rule. Um, JoJo's Part Five, Volume Seven. Beautiful hardcover. Uh, these are some of the only hardcovers I actually like um, because they're not too unruly. And speaking of unruly hardcovers, we have Volume Eight of. Uh, Blade of the Immortal, absolute break of a book, along with the Berserk and Helsing Deluxe Editions. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these hardcovers, but they were the only option available to me when I started picking up Blade of the Immortal. And then when I had three of them, the paperbacks restocked, and I was just kind of like, hmm. It's impossible to resell manga in my country. Well, not impossible, but borderline impossible. So, I was just kind of stuck with them. And, you know, as long as I'm... This is the only one uh, I, I have in my collection I don't mind too much. Because I have this Kalax for bigger books over here. I have the Attack on Titan Colossal Editions and so on on there as well. So, you know, it's okay to have a, a single series here and there where you don't have your preferred um, edition. Which is also how I look at Omnibuses as, as, at this point. I've uh, been picking up a lot of Omnibuses for series that do have singles, but they're just cheaper to pick up in the Omnibus. Um, looking at Kodansha with uh, manga number 6 and 7 Deadly Sins, Shaman King, stuff like that. Um, I used to be very much only like very much only be picking up singles when they were available and only pick up other editions when they weren't but you know as your taste and your collection addiction kind of evolves you kind of realize that sometimes a good omnibus is okay anyways that was a nice little rant over the Cautious Hero, uh, Volume Five. It's nice and funny. It's basically solo leveling, but it's but it's funny. Pokemon Guitari, Volume Seventeen. Another series I really need to check out. Um, that I'm just been picking up on recommendation, honestly. Uh, Rent a Girlfriend, Seventeen. I know, I know. I'm still picking up this dumpster fryer, but it's it's so trash that you can't keep like that. You you just can't. Look away, honestly. Uh, the Witch and the Beast, Volume 10. If you've seen any of my other hauls, you know I praise this to high heavens. There, don't be fooled by the cover art. It's very much not, not aligned with the vibe inside the manga, which is a grim, dark fantasy series about vampires and magicians and witches with absolutely beautiful art, whereas the covers are very much not that vibe at all. But I recommend checking out the first two volumes and if you aren't um, just raging to read more by that point then it's not going to be for you but it's a great little fantasy story. Let's save that for last. So what do we have here? We have Elusive Samurai Volume 5. Uh, this is not hitting as well as I thought it was going to be for me. I read four volumes last month I believe. Or was it this month? I'm not sure. Um, Either last manga reading log or the next one is gonna have those in there, and it just it's it's a decent series, but it's just not really doing a lot for me. Um, next up, we have the Hundred Girlfriends who really 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 love you, Volume Five. Um, kind of regret picking the the series up. I'm kind of over this whole harem, odd couple romance rom com thingy. Uh, I had my <clears throat> At my time with it, picked up like six, seven different series, and they all feel kind of the same. And um, yeah, at this point, I'm just picking up to see where it goes. And then we have uh, Whedon's We Row, uh, volume 21. The series is getting kind of long at this point. Um, I mean, it's Hiro Mashima, so what can you expect? 
it's just dumb fun with uh, uh, a lot of plot. And last but not least for pre-orders is uh, the final omnibus for Shaman King. So now I have the entire series and uh, gonna be looking forward to getting into reading this. I read the scans like 10 years ago maybe and I just can't remember the story that well. I low-key gave up on the anime, um, but I'm going to be reading these omnibuses at some point. Now I own it, and I'm glad for it to be in my collection. Really excited to see what these two uh, final volumes brings to the table, but not super happy about the color of the final <laughs> omnibus, but you know, it is what it is. They aren't the best looking omnibuses, but... They are at least a physical print for a well-loved series. So let's just be thankful for, you know, getting physical editions for some of these uh, series that we thought were lost to 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 licensing hell. But um, yeah. Next up, uh, I for some reason decided to pick up Shangri-La Frontier Volume One Two. Three. I was gonna pick up four, but it freaking went out of stock as I was uh, adding it to cart, and then you all know how it goes. Uh, it's now it's nowhere to be found anywhere, so I have to look at different bookshops and then shipping and so on. So it'll restock eventually, and then I'll be picking it up. I will be checking this out hopefully soon, uh, since it's a new series. And I've already been pre-ordering the volumes because I, I'm dumb like that. But here is the last series. It is 35 volumes. The series is, however, 36. But I have the last volume on the way. I had already pre-ordered. Well, not pre-ordered. I had already ordered it, but it got cancelled by Book Depository. Typical Book Depository behavior, but. Let's just get into it. So I decided to pick up the entire series of Hunter Hunter for three reasons. I wanna see where the story goes. And it was in stock. 35 out of the 36 volumes were in stock. And well actually four reasons I guess. I just had a very nice uh, tax refund, whatever. So I, I, I wanted to treat myself and this was in stock. I want to see where the story goes and a couple of the homies are going to be doing a buddy read. Uh, Chase the Dark Sage and uh, Sam's manga reviews will be doing a buddy read. Um, personally, I am just going to use it as an excuse to finally force my way through this and have somebody to maybe convince me into enjoying the series, but I am not sure if either of those people will do uh, content on this. I uh, I can imagine that I might, at the end of this, finally do uh, my first review of a series that's not in a reading log, since it's such a long series and it's been a while since I've read a series um, that is not ongoing, um, but yeah, so 16, 17, and these were all, whoa, shit, <laughs> yeah, so that happened, um, thank god for no editing, right, we won't get these crushed videos with other people, oh my god, this tripod is falling apart, anyways, uh, these are all Italian reprints, so not the best quality, but you know, it is what it is. Volume 18, 19, and I mean, ugh, the art looks so crusty on these covers. I'm that's one of the, my biggest gripes with the series is just the art is just not good. Volume 21. So here I'm missing volume 22 because that's the only volume that wasn't in stock. Um, and it's typical when everything is in stock but one volume, but at least it wasn't uh, out of print or anything. So, here's volume 23, 24, 
five, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So, yeah, the entirety of Hunter Hunters. I'm looking forward to reading it. I really am, but I am reluctant into saying that I think I'm going to enjoy it. I, I might end up enjoying it when I'm done, but from what I've consumed so far, I read, uh, I watched the anime up until like episode 76 or something like that. But um, yeah, I enjoyed some parts and really hated others. I mean, York New made me fall asleep literally, but then. Um, yeah, and I, I've heard that some of the later parts focuses on a character that I really don't give a shit about, so I'm not even sure that the material past the, the anime uh, will do me any good in terms of liking this series. But yeah, that was all the manga and novels for the ending of um, March. It's a bunch, and it was expensive, and I have no control over <laughs> over my economic situation at this point. I'm just kidding, guys. Of course, don't overspend, but um, you know, treat yourself sometimes uh, if you have the the means to, of course. But uh, don't go out there and buy manga that you do not have the bread for. We, you might see a lot of us YouTubers pick up manga out the ass for no reason other than online validation but end of the day pick up on your own pace and just you know have fun with it your collection is beautiful as it is and it doesn't need to compare to anybody else 